Right, the reason I've come out to do a video this morning is that there's this overpowering smell again in the air, which I'm going to call my captain until Rafflin put me straight because I've had it independently verified by an ex-waterboard uh, engineer, executive for Yorkshire Water, and he's clear. It, it's you know, it was like there was no doubt, no doubt in his mind that what we're smelling is my captain. It's not some dirty smell from down. 3,000 metres, 1,500 metres below the surface, it's methane, the additive. Um, and I can smell it here. Um, and as you can see today, if you look carefully at the streamers, the wind is blowing in our direction, so I'm getting it full on. Right, and it's strong again, strong again. Right. So it's time for another log call to the EA. Um, so anyone, please, out there would like to take my information as true that there is an awful smell of uh, odour, my captain possibly, well outside the compound. I'm on the main highway now, over the other side of the road. Still stinks. Yeah, I could walk up here. Yeah. Still stinks. Keep walking. Still stinks. Okay, now I seem to have walked out of it, but bearing in mind the wind is going across us that way, it stops smelling here. This is still well outside the compound. And it's stinking again, like heavy. Now it can't be coming from the flare stack, because the flare stack isn't flaring. It's not even switched on. I mean, it's absolutely vile. Uh, so the EA log I think that I got yesterday was, I think, 128, 1258. So it might be worth giving that a call on 0800 80 70 60 and uh, raise in hell if you're a local resident. Or raise hell even if you're not, you know. Demand to know why you've got a man on the ground out here saying this place is overloaded with noxious fumes well outside the compound and this place is still functioning. Why is it still functioning? These are the questions for today.